Hi guys. Um, it's been a while since I did any sort of update. I'm tired. Um, I'm in my car right now. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Um, this time change is really kicking my butt. I'm tired at 7 p.m. I wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm hungry and ready for lunch at 9.30. Um, reading wise, I've done a little bit. I started reading The Bone Houses this Sunday when I went to go do laundry because the dryer of my apartment is broken. So I was like, I'm out of underwear and socks. I need to go do laundry. So while I did laundry, I read, I'm like six or seven chapters in. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm really liking it so far. I am six chapters into The Black Witch and was just really not feeling it. Um, it's quite slow right now and I'm in a bit of a reading slump so I really needed to pick something else that was just like a hit. I also kind of want to start uh, The Philosopher's Stone tonight. We'll see. I need to go pick up some birthday decorations for my coworker. Her birthday is, sorry there are like people driving by because I'm still at work. Her birthday is next Thursday, um, next Tuesday, but tomorrow is kind of like the only day that we can decorate because She'll be in the office Thursday. I'm off Friday. We have Monday off. So unless I came into work at like 7 on Tuesday and decorated by myself, tomorrow's just really the only day that we can do it. She's out of the office. I have most of my coworkers are going to be there to help me decorate. So that's the plan. I'm going to go pick that up, make dinner, and hopefully do some reading. Um, I'm not sure this time change has really, really hit me. Um... But I'm excited that it's fall, I'm excited that it's cooled down, and I'm ready to go home. Hey guys, it's Thursday the 7th. Um, I'm home a little early from work. I got off at 4, and I went and ran some errands, and I'm home for a 4-day weekend, which I am super excited about. Um, so I'm off for the next 4 days, and I think I'm going to try to do as much reading as possible. We'll see. Um, I want to try to finish the bone houses either today or tomorrow. Um, and then I think that I can do the diviners this weekend. I loved the first book. It was so good. So I'm hoping that it will be so good again and I'll just fly through it. And then maybe I can pick up Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I think that's the plan. Um, I need to take a shower first. I'm also, I'm maybe going to chop all my hair off tomorrow. Um, I got it colored, I don't know, in like March, May, and during the winter time it gets super brittle just because it's winter, um, but with the blonde it's making it even more brittle so I'm getting a lot of breakage and it just doesn't feel nice at all. Like when I straighten it, it feels really gross, um, the ends are all scraggly and I'm just not happy with it so... I'm going to see if maybe I can either, I'm either going to cut it all the way up to here or I'm just going to try to cut a couple inches off and hopefully that that helps, but it's really, really bothering me. So doctor's appointment tomorrow in the morning, then to get a haircut. I'm driving all the way out to Rancho by myself for the first time. Normally my boyfriend goes with me um, because it's his cousin's house, but he has to work and I just don't want to wait. Like I could do it on Saturday. We're going to see his family anyways, but that's his only day off and I know he's not going to want to spend like an hour with me getting my hair cut. So I'll just go get it done on my own and it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to go take a shower now and then hopefully do some reading. I don't feel like cooking dinner today. There's leftovers in the fridge that my boyfriend can eat. Um, my weekend starts now. I'm done. I'm not doing anything for the rest of the night and I'm probably going to go to sleep early. We'll see. Um, but I really want to get through a good chunk of the bone houses tonight before I do go to bed. So shower and then reading. Good morning. It is Friday the 8th, um, it's seven in the morning. I, this always happens to me on at least one of my days off. My, oops, my boyfriend had work today, so he got up, his alarm goes off at 530. He does not get up at 5.30, so I don't know why he sets an alarm for 5.30. Um, but that wakes me up because it keeps going off and I have to wake him up to turn it off. 
sorry, it's really early. I am like half asleep. Um, but the second that I'm awake, I'm like, I have to pee so bad. And I try to hold it as long as possible. And I try to go back to sleep. Like, so if I can go back to sleep, then I can ignore it for a couple hours. <sighs> and sleep in a little bit. Um, and I managed to ignore it until he left. And then I was like, nope, I, I have to go pee. I had to go pee so bad. So I went to the bathroom and then I was like, I have to brush my teeth and now I'm awake. So I've decided that I'm just going to wake up. Um, if I fall back asleep, it's fine. Although I do have a doctor's appointment at 11 o'clock today and then I'm getting my hair cut afterwards, which I'm still not 100% sure about. I'm trying to figure out if I want to just kind of like cut five or six inches off and hope that that helps like try to get off as much of the damaged bits as possible or if I just want to cut it like all the way up to here. I have had my hair cut that high before and I really like it at that length but between like here and here I don't like it. So I'm like should I just cut it to here live with it like that for a month or two and then it will start to grow out or cut it up here and should I keep it short for a while is also my question I really don't know I feel so confused so I'm hoping that when I go see Tori she will be able to help me and we can figure this out but I know I need a haircut of some sorts I need some of this gone the ends are brittle it's like flaking everywhere and I'm super grossed out so that's the plan for today but since I'm awake now I am going to try oh that's upside down I'm gonna try and read some of the bone houses while I have some time this morning and I also need to do a bit of bullet journaling um, I just need to put in like my appointments and stuff for today the things that I want to get done I think after I get my hair cut I'm just gonna go to Starbucks and keep reading um, and then that's it I think I'm just gonna have a slow day and not really do a bunch so I'm excited for that Good morning, um, it's Saturday now. I cut off all of my hair pretty much. It's much shorter and I really love it. It feels so good and I am so happy with it. Um, that's not why I'm on here to update. I just wanted to let you guys know. I finished the bone houses. It was so good. I loved it so much. The storyline of the Bone Houses, Finding Castel City. It was amazing. Elias, I think his name might be Ellis, but after reading A Torch Against the Night, I just keep calling him Elias. Um, it turns out that he was like, sort of like the prince that started the curse and he found his mom. Rin found her dad. There was still like a ton, oh. This book broke my heart over and over and over again. There was, so it turns out that Ren's dad is dead. I think he either died in the forest or he did die when the um, mine collapsed. But he, he found her. He approached her in the middle of the night and she like threatened him off, but he came back with some like fever few or something like that for Elias who was not doing well and then he beckoned her into the forest and she followed him and he's the one who showed her where Castel Sidi was and then there was a moment where he went to go touch her face and she like recoiled and he stepped back and she was like I'm sorry I'm sorry like I just wasn't expecting that and he like touched her hair and her cheek and it wasn't until she got back to their camp that so when he left, he gave her a wooden love spoon, which I don't really know what that is, but he gave her half and he took the other half with her. And when she got back to camp, she saw that the other half, his half of the love spoon was on her pack. And she realized that it was her dad who she had just met and she doesn't get to see him again, but she knows that like he's out there and they break the curse. So the bone houses don't get to come back anymore. Uh, and she's sad that she doesn't know where he is. She can't bury him, but at least she knows he's resting now. 
and her and Elias get a cute happy ending. I love them so much. I just think that they're so good for each other. She pushes, she pushes him to be more courageous and to believe in himself more. And he makes her softer. She thinks I'm just the grave digger girl. I wield an axe. I kill dead people already. And that's all that she'll ever be. And he shows her that she's beautiful and I just loved it so so much and I just realized that this video is gonna be all messed up because it didn't flip properly but it doesn't matter I'll fix it in editing later I just I love that so much so so cute um I'm probably gonna start the diviners later today we need to go take Marceline to go get her shots in like an hour and then depending on how she is, we are going to my boyfriend's grandma's house to pull secret Santa names, which I don't know what time we're going. It really just depends on how Marceline is. I don't know if they're going to have to like give her some sort of medication or um, I don't know if they're going to have to like put her to sleep first. I hope that she does well, that she's not too like sad when we get home because we were supposed to be at his nana's his grandma's house at five and now we have to go at one and her appointment is at 11. so i was like i told his cousin i was like we're probably gonna be like 30 to 45 minutes late then because i really don't want to like leave her here by herself we're probably not going to stay that long either so we'll see but uh that was so good i gave it five out of five stars i loved it and i think that's 40 books for me now which is super exciting um which means I only have five more books to read for the entire year, which I'm like, I'm gonna fucking do. I better not mess up and not keep going, but that was such a good read. I wish I'd picked that up over The Black Witch. I don't know if I'm gonna finish that. I ended up putting it back on my shelf. I might leave it for another time. I think I'm also going to pick this up. I keep saying that, but who knows? Uh, that was so good. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready now. Um, this is how my hair looks naturally. Uh, it's got a little bit of curl to it. This side curls inward though, so I think I need to fix it up a little bit. Um, just make it look a little bit nicer. So we're gonna go get ready, and then we're gonna go give the dog shots. Mm. Hey guys it's Sunday um reading update which who am I updating every day and actually having progress um after I finished the bone houses yesterday I was going to start the diviners which I didn't get around to um after like I, th I think I mentioned this after I finished reading I went to go get a bordetella shot for my dog um we went to go get something to drink from Starbucks afterwards and then we came home and left pretty much right away um, to go to my boyfriend's family's house to pull names for Secret Santa and we were there until like seven o'clock um, and right before we left and this is the reason why we left I got hit with like the most um, intense wave of cramps that I have ever experienced I wanted to cry and I was having so much trouble breathing like through the pain I was like this cannot be period cramps I have appendicitis I'm dying something else is happening but it cannot just be period cramps so I decided last night that if I was still having a bunch of issues like that today then I was gonna go to the doctors but I got up this morning and they're much better um, it still really really sucks and I am still in bed. I did go to the grocery store to get stuff for this week and of course I went to Starbucks to get something and meal plan while I was there before going. After that I just came home. Um, I'm in bed watching Bob's Burgers. That's like my go-to thing when I'm home and I just started reading The Diviners. I just picked it up. Libba Bray is one of my, I think she might be my favorite author. She is amazing. I love everything that she's written. I just think she's great. And I'm only like 14, 
14 pages into The Diviners, which I have read before. This is a reread, and I already love it. So if you don't know, The Diviners is kind of like paranormal. The first book is much more about like ghosts and stuff, but it's set in the 1920s and we meet our fav our first character. It's set in the 1920s and we meet our first character, Evie O'Neill, who is a seer. So we don't learn that until a little bit later. Um, they hint at some like abilities of hers, but she basically gets in trouble for kind of, I mean, it was the truth, but for bad mouthing another boy saying that he got this girl knocked up and that he's got a different girl um, every single day and that he's basically a hoe. Um, so her parents send her to New York to go live with her uncle, which she's a party girl. She likes the clubs, she likes dancing. I don't know why they thought sending her to New York was going to be the best thing for her, but I honestly think it was just like out of sight, out of mind, whatever she does over there, at least it's not affecting our reputation here. Um, so she goes to live with her uncle and she meets all of these other kids her age, teenagers, she's 18 now, who also have abilities and there's this monster, this guy, Naughty John, going around and killing people. And a lot of people are confused because they're like, you know, he was a killer beforehand. Um, he's been, you know, mysteriously gone for years and years and years. Why is he back? And because she is a seer, when she touches objects, she can, like, get strong memories related to that object. So she's trying to help solve murders, basically. And I honestly just love it. I... Love the scenery of New York in the 1920s. Like, I would kill to go back to that time. The language, the flapper girls, the way that they talk, that she's like, oh, I hope I don't ever have to have cheaters later on with your glasses. I just love the setup for the story so much. And I love Evie because as the series goes on, I mean, she definitely stays a spoiled brat, but she finally finds people that she cares about and who really care about her. Um, and she finds a place like people to be around like I said that she cares about so I just really love this so I'm gonna keep reading um, and hopefully I can get through a good chunk today I'm off tomorrow also so this whole vlog is just gonna be over these four days I think and then I'll end it um, because I know once I get back to work on Tuesday I'm really not gonna do a lot of reading um, but I'm planning on spending tomorrow in bed too, really just depending on how my cramps are. I might go to Starbucks and read for a little bit, um, or maybe like to the park if the weather is nice. I'm not sure. It's kind of warm this weekend, um, so we'll see, but I'm so, so glad to be back in the Diviner's world.